Welcome back, everybody. This is Dave, and let's play some more Dark Souls 3. In our last episode, we defeated Farron's Undead Legion, the Abyss Walk. Watchers. Watchers. Almost said Walker. But again, that was a character in Dark Souls 1. These are the Abyss Watchers. Uh, his successors, I'd imagine. And like him, it seems some of them fell to the abyss. Interesting boss fight that we eventually chickened out and had some help for. And it occurs to me, having gotten this far, all the way up to one of the one, two, three, four, five, well, four unoccupied chairs in this place. It occurs to me we've been moving along at quite the fucking clip here. And that, yeah, might be time go a little slower, stop and smell the roses. For example, we haven't even bothered to check around here to see uh-huh if anybody's shown up yet. And the reason for that is, of course, once again, uh, thanks to Bloodborne, you know, when nobody showed up at the... uh-huh. When nobody showed up at your hub world. Oh, that's the dog outside detecting us through the wall. Anyway, in Bloodborne, nobody showed up in the dream, because your dream was seemed to be kind of a personal dream. But this right here, this revives something from Dark Souls 1 and 2, obviously, wherein NPC characters would show back up in your hub world so you could talk to them and hopefully get something out of them, maybe? We'll see how instrumental they're going to be this time around. Oh, our champion of Ash. Welcome home. Thanks, buddy. I've already this forgotten your name. This pilgrim, with a debt in death, hardly deserves to behold this divine flame. Oh, you flatterer. And I never would have, had you not taken me into your service. Yeah. I thank you dearly for this, and assure you of my leal service. Leal service? Draw out true strength. What? <coughs> oh, let's see what you have to... Oh, you sell magic. Okay. Let's see what you have for sale first, before we draw out his true strength. Just those spells, huh? As I have said, I was once a sorcerer. That's true. Alas, the magic of Londor is a far cry from the wonders of Vinheim. Ah. But I can teach you what I know. You were part of the old Perhaps, dragon school. more importantly, I believe that I can help tease out your true strength. What does that mean, even? We pilgrims of Londor are keenly aware that those branded by the dark sign possess something quite special. Yeah, the immortality is kind of special, but then again, it's also a curse. I mean, that's exactly the term used. So what, uh, I still don't know what that means. As I have said, yeah. but I we, but the, uh, screw it. Then shall we begin? Bearer of the dark sign, let your true strength shine. <gasps> really? And, wow. Okay, so he will, yes, for one level, for all our souls, he will get us up one level. Wow, does that work all the time, or just here? Let's, we'll find that out later, because that's, that's interesting. As I have said, but I weep. But don't okay, that's all you got. Be safe, champion of Ash. Because that seems like a bit of a waste. Let's see. Oh crap, it's been a couple days. I forget if we already leveled up or not. Let's just check real quick. Welcome, host. Very well, then, hey. 
Yeah, cost seven grand. But he'll just level us up. I see how it is. Okay. So no more buying random crap to get rid of your excess souls. Uh, I failed to thank you. For what, dude? For helping them find their final resting place. Oh, you mean... Ah, the Abyss Watchers. <laughs> I pity the sorry souls. Is that really Lordship's last reward? <laughs> yeah, it seems that way, buddy. Really seems that way. And we've got their soul, don't we? It was just the one. Yes, soul of the blood of the wolf. Yeah. Spread amongst the abyss watchers, and their souls are one with the soul of the wolf blood master. Farron, apparently. And we got a new ring just now. Farron's ring reduces skill FP consumption. Oh, okay. The Abyss Watchers, for their hunting, required a sword technique that went beyond any existing art. Wolf's blood provided just that, and this ring further extends the effect. Okay. Ah, Good question. Let's find out, Andre. No. No. Uh, yeah, we could do that, but we need 28 strength still. Rotten Grew Curved Sword. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember now. It's all coming back to me. And we need one more to bring our shield up again. No shards. Yeah, let's do that. Now that we're not fighting bosses again. Okay. And. Hey, Grey Rat. Yeah, Grey Rat, if you'll remember. It's the guy we met back in the, God, episode two now. Asked us to find a woman named Loretta. Give her the blue tear stone ring. We didn't find her, but we found an old human bone with several holes bored into it. Yes, on a woman's corpse. And apparently that woman's name was Loretta. So if this is going where I think it's going, this will be another callback straight to Demon Souls. With the blacksmith, or no, the, um... <laughs> the item store, rather, uh, there, you know, stockpile Thomas. Um, yeah, you, uh, yeah, you found his daughter's corpse in Demon Souls, as you would know, if you've been watching my Demon Souls playthrough, and you could give him a jewel hairpin. You know, that, that quest line, you know, saw another incarnation in Bloodborne. After a fact, the doll had a hairpin there, too. But let's see what this guy and his girlfriend's bone can uh, do for us here. Oh, hello, you're back. And in one piece. Well, now it's time I do my part. Which is? Whatever trinket you need, speak up. Ah. Uh, He's Just the... don't ask me where I got them. Yes, he's the thief. <laughs> All right. so let's see here. And he sells. Ooh, ton of shit. Rope fire bomb. Yes. Right, there it is. Okay. Let's talk to. Him. Do me a favor and don't forget our promise. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. Yeah. A nuisance, I know. But it will help me tie up some loose ends. Such as? Do me a thing. Well, one way to find out. Heavens. She was already dead. Yep. Thank you. I I'm not surprised, though. <laughs> In this world. Almost a relief, really. Yes. It'd be more surprising if she were still alive. You can keep the ring. Thank you. I was planning As, to anyway. Well, a little trinket of thanks, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. You can keep the... As... That's all the laugh you can muster. Goodbye. And stay safe. Oh, this place is a bore. What 
good is thievery if you've nowhere to go? <laughs> Indeed. So, okay. Got new friends. That's nice. And from now on, every time we find somebody and rescue their ass out in the world, we're going to be coming back here and taking a little tour of Firelink Shrine to see if they've popped back up. And there was that woman, that, that night woman. She was hanging out here. A little cold to us at first, but, you know, we turned on the charm. She said we could summon her, but... Oh, well. Let's see what you've got for us. Aha, thou returned, and a fine day it is. So, happened upon any twisted souls? You could say that, yes. Uh, I don't want to begin that yet. Ah, most illustrious Lord Seeker. Or should I say, Lord Slayer? <laughs> Fine kindling for the thrones, is it not? Each soul truly worthy of lordship. And all slain by thy hand to bind them to their thrones, even in death. Oh, I have no qualms. For as we are to our thrones, thou art to thy duty. So you're saying. In fact, Methinks thou hast helped these poor lords along their rightful path. Ah, so you're saying we're all rats trapped in a giant maze? And I'm adding fuel for the fucking bonfire that's keeping this horrific world from its much needed desolation? Mm, yeah. Ah, I hope that's all you've got. Now, now. That's all you've got, of course. Of course. So this is how it goes, huh? Is this how it goes, huh, lady? I just fuel these thrones with the souls of their previous occupants. Whoa. And who the fuck are you? You're dressed quite swanky. I need to put our binoculars back on so we can have a good eyeball of this dude. Look at him. I want your badass long coat, yo. Yeah, right out of Bloodborne. Look at this guy. Oh, man. Thigh high boots, leather pants, gloves with the one metal gauntlet. Yeah. Hmm. Unkindled, though. Yes, indeed. And fast on the trail of the Lords of Skondin. Yes. Lords of Scott. Then what? these red eyes are for you. Ah, so you're the... Yes, you're Invasion Man. Use them to pillage embers and briefly heighten your strength for your duty. Uh-huh. It's a good sell. What else are unkindled ashes good for? <laughs> That's a good way to sell it, too. Uh, it's part of your duty, yes. You've got to get stronger, right? After all, this game's so hard. You might as well invade somebody, kill them, and steal all their stuff. Pillage embers for briefly heightened strength. For your duty. Uh huh. There you go. What else, Sorunkin? It's <laughs> <sighs> creepy. Okay. Now, if we do this, I imagine we won't be able to use that soul again. Because, well, wait. There was the ash, and then there was a soul. Yes, cinders of Lord left by the Abyss Watchers. Cinders of a Lord left by the Abyss Watchers. If the Lords will not return to the thrones themselves, let them return as cinders. The Watchers of the Abyss swore upon their shared wolf's blood, which also served as their mandate as Lords. So we offer this. And what do you know? Huh. That's it? So we get Oh, they're skulls. I see. Skulls with 
the watchers' hats on them. Very nice. Okay, didn't really find many more friendly faces down in the poison swamp. And you know what I'm gonna do? Yeah, this may be a complete waste. But by gum, we have the power. And I don't want to run around with 3,900. Oh, then shall bear. I want to test this and see if it truly is what I think it is. Um, let's get more vitality, what do you say? Oh, damn it, we could use more strength as well. That would get us up to almost 200 a pop. Yeah. But, oh man, but we're running into so much armor. Okay, new plan. Um, yeah, that's... Wait, first we were going to get our endurance up to 20, weren't we? Yeah, and if anything should go from 14 to 15, it should probably be... Ah, screw it. There. As I have said, but I'm so you got help but those breath. Be safe. That's interesting. You can level us up too. How much darkness do you have in you, buddy? You know, how can you let ownerless souls become wait a second? That didn't even take any souls. How did that not take any souls? Did we do it right? Oh, I... Oh, okay. So it was one-time use. Oh. I see. I get it now. So that's your special power. One-time use only. One level increase. Which, yeah, doesn't seem like much, but damn, early in the game, when you're just getting that learning curve on, I'm sure that can seem like a whole hell of a lot. Okay, so we've still got our 3,900, uh, and yeah, so what now? Now, um, well, for now, let's test our roll. Not bad. Not so sure about the pointy-toed shoes, though. Those are kind of getting me. Yeah. Let's go back to our Lucatil cosplay. And, let's see here. Need a mask, obviously. Can we... Do we have... No, we don't. Okay. Now... Yeah, why not? Let's go through that door we opened. <laughs> Just to see what happens. Though we could always backtrack. I've started editing the uh, episodes now. Started uploading them, in fact. And reminded me there was some stuff we missed in Lothric. And you know what? I think we're just going to uh, slow this train down for a bit. God, see, because we've we uncovered so many bonfires out there on the road of sacrifices that we totally forgot stuff that we just walked right past the first time. So, let's go out to the high wall. Back to the high wall, shall we say. And let's explore some things. Gotta see a dragon about some stuff that he's guarding. Yeah, here we are. Yeah, been a while, hasn't it, guys? Oh, and look, red summon sign on the ground. Somebody wants to duel, obviously. Catching the few poor suckers who still have some life left over after the katana guy back in Firelink trashed them. Oh, yeah. That feels nice. Remember how much trouble these assholes were giving us? Now it's like one shot, one kill. No problem. Yeah, he's just leaning. Ha! Trivial. Yeah, see all that, all that crap right there? 
All that. Right there. We missed every last bit of that. And I bet you there's some sweet shit out there. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Carry. Wait. Didn't see. That's what I'm talking about. Not, oh, not even paying attention. And now I get a long sword. At long last. Yeah, it's in standard damage as well as high thrust. Damage. Yep. Oh, man. Yep, standard. Good old-fashioned fantasy longsword. Of course, we've upgraded our broadsword quite a ways by now. And we're probably going to keep doing that until we can start swinging this puppy around. <laughs> Testing the true limits of human strength. All as Dark Souls playthroughs in increase, the chance that somebody's gonna go for the Ultra Great Sword approaches one. Little known law. Little known law of Dark Souls physics there. There we go. Yeah, one more. Give me one more. Come on. Okay, does that fire ever recede? Or does he just blast more? He just blasts more every time, so screw it. Interesting. So there is a very tiny window. That's immediately re-upped. So screw it. Ah. Is there a way to kill you? God, you're annoying. Let's test something out here while we're here. Only got six arrows. Nothing. Well, to hell with this. See ya, asshole. Whoa! That was close. So, see? This is what... This is the problem, going too fast. Whole extra room out here that we missed. And there's a... That's not a chest. That's not a fucking... Uh-huh. Thank you. Uh-huh. Thank you. Uh-huh. Thank you. Because that's not a chest. Looks like one. But if you look very closely... You can see it breathing. And if you know what to look for, you see that chain pointed towards us. Regular chests have chains that point away from you in kind of a spiral pattern. Yeah, before we deal with that, let's check this out. I knew it. I bloody knew it. There were no mimics in Bloodborne. There were mimics in both Dark Souls 1 and 2. Uh-huh. Does not open from this side, but it opens from that side. And let's just get back here before the, the night spots us. Yeah, there he goes. No problem. 
Okay. Let's kill ourselves a mimic, everybody. Oh, I should. Okay. Let's see how tough mim mimics are in this game. <clears throat> oh god, that's plenty tough. You still hate fire? Oh god. No, 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 not like this, not like this. Oh God, we're alive. I don't know how, but we're alive. Thank you, extra health. He'd have killed us if we were in... Well, if we were hollowed out in soul form? I'm not sure what to call it. Oof. All I know is, damn, that's annoying. Wow. The guy was tough, though. Jesus. But it's okay, we got him. And we got the deep great axe. Whatever that means. Ooh, you armored guys. Still quite tough. Oh god. And we got him on our ass. Mm. There's the backstab I was fishing for. Okay, no problem. Now, can we kill you from down here? Ha! Oh shit. Wow. <laughs> the answer is no, but we can certainly piss him off. Does that mean this way is clear? Probably not. Ah, uh, nope, he's turned around again. There's still so much crap over here, though. Yeah, fuck it, I'm going for it. Okay, not bad. We've kind of got a system. Did that even... Ah, here he comes. Or not. Did you even acknowledge that? His like... Shit, he acknowledged that. Ha! <laughs> Aw, oh, this is the one that's really gonna suck. Claymore! Joke's on you, asshole. I got me a claymore. Ha 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 ha. And for those of you who don't know, the claymore. Claymore is your best friend. 
if you don't have enough strength to wield the uh, Ultra Great Sword. Because the Claymore, ooh, only takes 16. And now it's 30 behind our, ooh, our broadsword. But, but damn, look at that. Look, look at that. And look at, look at two-handed. Oh, yeah. You want to go William Wallace on some fools? I know I do. Mm. Oh, that's a nice move set. Ooh, diagonals. Is this still a, yep, great big stab. I can get behind the great big stab. Well, if I could target some fools. Yep. Yep. Of course, these guys are nothing. They're pikers. We need to really test this sucker out on something that'll give us a challenge. Like, say, you. Oh, one shot, one kill. With our upgraded strength. That's very nice. Oh, loves me the Claymore. The Claymore got me through Dark Souls 1. So... You'll understand if I'm... Ugh, oh, yes, feeling a bit of that... Oh, the old magic coming back. Ooh. And it puts motherfuckers on the ground. That's the other good thing about the Claymore. Incredible amounts of knockback. Go flying. Now play dead. That's right. Okay, can this can it do that to normal sized guys as well? I can stagger them, which means I can stun lock them to death, potentially. Good night, sir. Yeah, now you. Yeah, you. Come here. Let me ask you a question. What is our backstab like? Ooh. Backstab is quite nice. Ah, the combo on that's a little slow. But then again, it is a giant two-handed sword, so I'll give it I'll give it give it a shot. Pump some shards into it. See how far up we can take it. Just cause. Yeah. Yeah, we got five. Hell. <laughs> We can take it up to plus two if we want, and probably get it to exceed our plus four broadsword. Uh, yes, which means we may have completely wasted that Titanite, but I don't care. I've got myself a Claymore. That's all I care about. And we've finally taken care of that little shortcut right there. That's also something that I care about. And the dragon's still spazzing out. Looks like we can kill him if we add an infinite amount of patience and a whole shitload of arrows. But we have neither at the moment, so we're just gonna go back to Firelink, trick out our giant sword, and then maybe we'll try it on something. Alright, and here we are back again. So. Here's the door we came in, and here, ooh, and here is a hidden fucking passageway. I did it. Guilty as charged. Okay then, so, I think we both know where we'll be going next time, and in the meantime, once again, I thank y'all for joining me. I hope you rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time when we go down this set of stairs and play more Dark Souls 3. Yes, large sort of overcompensation for the win. <laughs>